From secret features to remove star powers or even hidden abilities, these are 10 facts for every brawler in Brawl Stars. This is my biggest video yet, so please consider subscribing. Shelly In concept art, Shelly used to have a pet chicken. Despite Star Shelly being an exclusive skin from 2018, it's one of the most common skins in the game. When Brawl Stars was testing out third star power, Shelly had one which acted the same as Clay Pigeons, but instead narrowing her super. December 12th of 2023, Shelly's model was reworked. Shelly's player title, No Time to Explain, is a reference to the original Brawl Stars and animation no time to explain. She is the only common brawler in the entire game. Trophy Road Brawlers used to have this spot as well. In Global, Bandita Shelly is free for a new account, and in China, it's PSG Shelly. Shelly's voice actor Sandra Espionza also voices Jackie you and Ems. You look bored. You totally deserve that. Shelly's gun in real life is the Golden Eagle M870 Tactical Gas Pump Action Shotgun. Her spray is a band-aid with a skull on it, but the band-aid on her model has no skull. Nita. Nita used to be able to spawn multiple bears with her super and beta. Her attack can shoot around walls of aim correctly, despite not really looking like it. Nita's bear paws gadget used to be able to instantly stun. Pairing this with her hyper bear star power, it was a very deadly combo. Nita's bear Bruce used to have health decay. The voice actor for Nita had a role as Gangle in the Amazing Digital Circus, as well as- how do I say that? <laughs> I don't know how to say that. This guy from Attack on Titan, Sadie from One Piece, and Financer Cookie. In CCTV footage, we can see what Nita and Leon looked like without their masks on. In 2020, when Australia had frequent and deadly fires, the koala Nita Nita skin was used as a fundraiser. Red Nose Nita was the first ever 149 gem skin released. When her bear paws gadget was incredibly strong, they tried decreasing the charges per match from 2 to 3. In the Gummy Bear Nita skin, you can see where the face cuts out ever so slightly. Colt. Colt's silver bullet damage dealt the equivalent of 6 bullets, now it's only 2. Colt has some of the most skins in the entire game. In 2022, Colt's voice actor Billy Comets passed away of colon cancer. Wasim got Shark Tooth Colt from a star drop one time, and he said something along the lines of, oh, I got Shark Tooth Colt. Even with the longer range star power, his super shoots farther. Colt had an unreleased third star power, which gave him a 2000 HP shield until he died. According to CCTV footage, Colt created Spike, and his face is made up of Colt's bullet holes. Rockstar Colt is a reference to Elvis Presley. With the Slick Boot star power, Colt gets the very fast movement speed, being on par with brawlers like Crow and Leon. Technically speaking, Colt has one of the fastest reloads in the game by using his gadget. Bull. If I had a nickel for every bull skin involving cats, I would have two nickels. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird it happened twice. Bull's full name is Bull Blanco. Bull owns a diner called Bull's Diner. It's a very original name. Bull had a hypercharge bug, which let his ability work without the hypercharge active. In 2020, his back symbol was changed to the current logo we see today. At one point, knockbacks could cancel Bull's super. Early Bull designs looked like this. He was way more menacing before. Bull's first design was Viking Bull, but it was swapped to the default model instead. This is because in the game files, Viking Bull was Bull, and the default was Rock underscore Bull. Space Ox Bull was the first to have new voice lines, such as not a filter. Barbarian King Bull is a nod towards the Clash of Clans Barbarian King to celebrate Supercell's 10th year anniversary. Brock. Postal Brock is the only Power League skin up to this point not themed around the season. Brock's name in the files is Rocket Girl, which means he was originally supposed to be a female. Super Ranger Brock is a nod towards Power Rangers, and is also one of the worst skins in the game. His flame after each attack used to be a star power called Incendiary, but later added to his main kit. Rocket Laces is the only movement-based gadget that knocks back. Zeus Brock's cloud once had a metallic look, but it was changed to be more cloudy looking, if that makes sense. Brock's class used to be a sharpshooter, but now is a damage dealer, which I think both kind of work. Brock's sunglasses brand is different to Buzz, meaning that there are different sunglass companies that work in Star Park. Super Ranger Brock was the first tier 1 Brawl Pass skin. In beta, his super only shot out 6 rockets. El Primo El Rey was the first skin to have an animated texture effect. His attack used to have a cone shape to it, kinda like Kit. El Primo was once in Clash of Clans and acted similar to the Giant and is possibly the clan game's dude in disguise. El Rey Primo was the first added skin on release. Slap Sandwich was the name of his main attack in beta. Old Lore states that he was hit by a meteor from outer space which gave him his strength. El Primo means the cousin in Spanish. Suplex Supplement used to be able to throw Brawlers with shields but later was removed. He took his mask off one time in the RT animation, and that's from what I know the only time he's ever done that. Every other Primo skin faces right, but El Rudo faces left. Barley. 
Barley is the only robot with a mustache. At level 11, Barley can fully heal himself with 10 shots using medical use. Barley's first balance change was a bug fix which didn't let him break vases. You can unlock Barley for free from connecting Supercell ID, which might save you from getting him from a crappy star drop. Despite being a 30 gem skin, Golden Barley has a unique attack texture. Barley's old text set is super through burning bottles, though it doesn't apply the burning effect. Wizard Barley is not available on the Chinese version of the game. It takes 1.25 seconds for his super to land. In 2018, there was a glitch with the Wizard Barley skin which made his head slightly clip through his hood. The shine on Barley's mustache does not move when rotating the Brawler model. Poco Poco's super could break walls all the way back in beta. Swan Song was a removed star power which, after death, healed allies in an area. Poco was originally just a dude that turned into a skeleton. Poco's de Capo star power doesn't get affected by power cubes or anything else. For a limited time in beta, his super could not go through walls. Similarly, his super could heal pets. Pirate Poco is the only Poco skin without strings on his guitar. CCTV Poco is a mythic skin, but can be purchased for the same amount as an epic at 149 gems. Poco with the damage gear will do more damage with his super, which kinda makes sense, I just never thought of it. As of now, Poco is the only brawler with two lore skin, CCTV and Star Poco. Rosa. Rosa is based off the activist Rosa Parks. Her super used to protect her for 80%, lasting 6 seconds and only took 3 shots to get, making her absolutely broken. Her grow light gadget can break spikes. Cheerleader Rosa looks astronomically different from her game art, and I think this meme speaks for itself. She was the first apocalypse brawler, a brawler which everyone has access to and breaks the game like Edgar or Larry Ori. The bush gadget changes color depending on maps. This wasn't always the case, where it was only green. The bars of her glasses are different from her portrait to model. Brawloween Rosa was the first challenge skin ever added. Rosa is the only brawler in the game who can deal damage to every brawler in a lobby at once, even if they're incredibly spread out. There was a glitch which put Rosa's face onto her plant, which is the scariest thing I have ever seen. Jesse. Red Dragon Jesse is the only the red skin in the game. After the first bounce, it loses 535 damage, then on the second, another 525 damage. Jesse's Cat Burglar skin had an early design, which was a bit different from the one we have today. Pam is Jesse's mother. Who's the father? Jesse's bounces can track invisible enemies. Scrappy used to have health decay. Red Dragon Jessie was added in celebration of the Chinese release of the game. Her mastery icon does not have Scrappy's necklace. Jessie's voice actor had a role in Disney's Elementals. In her animation, her tongue reaches past her eyeball, which is kinda creepy. Dynamike. Most people know this, but he has a canary under his hat. Canaries used to be sent into coal mines to check for dangers before the miners went in. On the classic Dynamike skin, you cannot see the canary under his hat in game. Dyna has the longest title in the game. The longest jump using Dyna Jump was 346,922 jumps. Dynamite does not wear a hat in his portraits. His fidget spinner gadget once did not let him move. In 2021, his class was changed from a thrower to a damage dealer, which is kind of odd. Moldy Mike is significantly fatter than the other mics. Dynamite's extra explosion damage from his demolition star power is added on after any other buff. Shirtless Dynamite. Tick. Tick was originally supposed to be a mythic brawler. There was a Tick glitch in the graveyard mode which let him survive forever using well oiled and the shield gear. His eyes were changed early on to be more derpy. Tick has a voice actor, Martin Scholzer, who voices a lot of other robots in the game. Tick has the least health in the game. Tick's files were leaked in beta. Backup Mine was the original gadget for him which was replaced with Mine Mania. Last Hurrah used to make Tick invulnerable, later changed to 50%. According to his flavor text, Tick follows Penny around like a pet. King Crab Tick is the only frowning Tick skin. 8-Bit. Virus 8-Bit was the first skin with changed voice lines. Last Life was a star power which just gave 8-Bit one extra life per match, and it was insane. 8-Bit Classic is a nod to the Game Boy. His cheat cartridge gadget was bugged where he could destroy his own turrets. 8-Bit canonically hates all his players. Looking at you, Jimbo. <laughs> Saloon 8-Bit has Barley's tonic bottle on top of him. 8-Bit's thanks pin is the only place in the game where you can find the Ubu face. His damage boost but does not increase spawnable's damage. If a brawler like Bull charges outside of the booster but was already in it before, they'll retain the booster effects. 8-Bit's mastery title is a Commodore 64 command that resets the machine. Rico. Rico smashed the vending machine. <laughs> in a different kind of smash way. <laughs> Rico used to only shoot four bullets with his attack. And then we'll put the spend clip here. You just love bulls. Rico and Piper are a couple. This was fan lore, but later made official. Every time Rico's bullets bounce, they bounce two tiles farther. Golden Rico used to cost 30 gems. Rico used to be a pool robot. Rico's model was heavily changed from Ricochet to the Thickochet we all love today. Rico's bouncy castle gadget has some of the highest burst healing damage in the game. After Star Shelly, Rico was the first anniversary skin. Daryl. 
Back in beta, if Shelly super to Daryl at the exact right time, he'll float. Daryl's hat used to look like this, but now looks like this. Daryl's super will charge in 30 seconds, similar to Buzz or Edgar. Daryl's main attack takes 0.608 seconds to complete. If Daryl rolls through a ton of skulls, his roll will bug out. At one point after supering, he could get stuck on the water. When using a super, he used to be able to get a 90% shield, which was crazy. His voice line you see me rolling. is a reference to the song Raiden. Daryl has the most balance changes in Brawl Stars history. His voice line, son of a biscuit eater, really means son of a penny. Penny had her entire kit reworked at one point. No matter where you are on the map, her mortar shots will land in the same amount of time. Her trusty spyglass gadget can shoot up to 17 enemies. Bunny Penny's mortar was once shown to look like this in Sneak Peeks. Penny's flavor text originally sounded pretty badass, but it was later changed to make her sound kind of stupid. Smuggler Penny was the first Power League skin. There's a crack on the skull on her mastery icon, but not anywhere else. She is canonically 13 to 15 years old. Penny had the most balances and reworks in a single day, where her kit was changed as well as a few balance changes and a remodel. She is one of the only brawlers that was never in a loading screen. Carl. The Goblin Carl and the original Carl skin have different shaders on the minecarts. Carl has the fastest speed in the game with his super. His old attack return speed was super fast, but it was a little bit too fast and was changed to how it is today. He was the first brawler to beat boss fight in Sane 16. According to official art, he pulls his pick back with a rope. Like other brawlers, he has a third star power which let him break walls, but was never added to the official game. If a pickaxe hits a wall, its travel time decreases. There was a glitch when using Flying Hook, Carl could clip through walls. Dark Tide Carl got his name changed to Blue Tide Carl. It was once said that he was one of the trickiest brawlers in the game to balance due to his weird mechanics. Jackie. Jackie was the first brawler to have a non-attacking super. Her uncensored voice lines are in the game files. Refrigerators! Jackie canonically pounds brawlers. <laughs> <laughs> What? Jackie's super is actually her drilling a hole into the ground. Brawlers are just falling into it. You cannot counter crush a counter crush. Pneumatic is defined as containing or operated by air or gas under pressure, meaning she exerts some sort of air or gas when using her gadgets. There was a bug where Jackie only dealt one damage at the edge of her attack. Her second gadget can repair skulls. Like most other speed boosts, pneumatic booster does not stack with other speed boosts. By using her hardy hat star power, Jackie technically has 2000 more health at max level. Gus. Gus is not a ghost. He can have up to 10 ghosts on the field at the same time. Gus's healing does not scale. His shield decays 5% every half a second. According to his old flavor text, he followed a balloon dog too far and got lost forever. It was too scary, so it was later changed. Kooky Popper used to deal knockback damage, but was later removed, and I'm so sad! <laughs> his shield will not stack on top of other shields, like Edgar's or another Gus's. I love Gus, in Italian translates to Amo Gus. His balloon has a ghost inside of it. His hand was once changed for a brief time to be clenched instead of having crossed fingers. Bo. Bo was the first Supercell make brawler. Bo was once in Clash Royale, taking the role of the Magic Archer. His rarity was changed the most out of every other brawler. Bo used to be able to spawn four mines with a super. Instead of shooting out three supers, he shoots out four. There was an infinite mines glitch which let him spawn, well, infinite mines. There was a glitch with Underworld Bow which let him hit behind walls. His super totem would passively charge super and would not decay, making it insanely toxic for cheese plays. According to his flavor text, Bow uses toys from the Star Park gift shop as explosives. Bo has four arrows in his quiver despite his mastery icon having three and only shooting three. He is the father of Leon and Nita. Ems. Mortis is Ems's uncle. Cool girl Ems's phone is designed like Jock Stew. If you look closely, Poco is in her phone. Ems is based off of a Visco girl, which was a popular meme at the time. Her attack is the only one labeled as damage per half a second. Even Chuck and Chester's are different despite having a very similar attack. Despite her title being hashtag hater, none of her voice lines say that. College Ems was so bad that Brawl Stars changed it to Mean Girl Ems. Harajuku Ems references the Wednesday Adams dance. Ems's hairspray is her own brand. In the French translation of the game, her name is Elise At. That's kinda weird. Stu. Stu is Bonnie and Janet's uncle. There was a bug that let Breakthrough give you your super. Stu's fire can actually charge a super, which is incredibly useful and always gets used. His super could once knock back. Imagine if it was like that today. The animation for Stu's Chinese skin takes about 13 seconds to play out. In each Stu pin, his head arrow changes based off of the mood. You can dash twice in a row by timing his shots correctly. His shots come from his fingers. Stu and Chester have the same voice actor. Crazy? You got hurted. Oh, the poor baby. He was the last Trophy Road Brawler added before they were removed. Piper. Piper was the first brawler added since beta. Piper de la Prim was a real name. Piper used to have no teeth. <laughs> 
What? Back in beta, the news tab showed different brawlers sending her love letters. At max level, paired with Ambush, her shots deal up to 4,590 damage. Her auto-aimer gadget gives her attack an extra 1.66 tiles. Auto-aimer used to fire four homing bullets, similar to Jean's gadget. Lunar Piper, li Lunar, Piper re Lunar Piper likely references Sailor Moon. Mariposa Piper's umbrella spins like a helicopter when in the air. Piper's auto-aimer gadget can charge snappy sniping. Pam. Pam used to be called Mama J, and I like to call her Mommy J. <laughs> I, I regret saying that. She was originally supposed to be Bone Thrower. She was originally also supposed to be a boy. It would take 100 projectiles to completely heal herself with Mama's hug. She has to be within 12 tiles of her turret to activate Pulse Modulator. Way back in 2017, her healing station could actually despawn. Pam is Jessie's mother. She is the thickest brawler in the game. Her turret was considered a pet, nowadays it's considered a turret. Egg Pam is supposed to be added in May of 2024. T trust me man, trust me! Frank. Frank has the longest pin sound effect in the entire game. Frank used to drop skulls which healed him similar to Gus's ghost after defeating enemy with an old star power. He has no attack voice line. Frank has the highest HP and was the first brawler to have over 10,000 health. He was also the first to have a charge attack. The game lead Frank kinda looks like Frank. In the best ways possible, of course. <laughs> Love you, Frank. 43 brawlers in the game can completely cancel his attack. His first gadget might have been inspired by the third star power for Bull. He DJs at clubs at night. Frank is based off of Frankenstein's monster. BB. The default BB skin is the only one to have Mr. Bat spin while charged. She had an old attack animation which was similar to a Rosa Punch or a Prima Punch. There was a bug where Mr. Bat's face was not visible for iOS users. She is a nerd and is too afraid to let it show. When BB was released, there was a bubblegum challenge where creators would see how much bubblegum they could fit in their mouths. She has the worst mastery icon in the game. There was a glitch where Zombie BB's attacks would go backwards. Her attack takes 1.3 seconds to hit. Kicking the brawl ball will use up her charge. She is able to double hit an enemy with a bubble if it was timed correctly. B. Brawl Stars worked with the idea for her super going through walls and poisoning. Rattled Hive used to go through enemies. She has a star power called Honeycoat which let her live on 1 HP, kinda similar to 8-bit's last life. B is in her early 20s. She also created Sprouts. Kicking the Brawl Ball does not waste ammo, same for every other 1 ammo brawler. A level 6 and B supercharged shot deals the same amount of damage as a max power Shelly point blank. B was the first ever 3000 trophy brawler. Her super has a 15 degree spread. She wants to be a B. Nani. Nani is Jessie's nanny and is a security robot. You can one-shot a Nani with a Nani, which is kind of ironic. Nani could teleport with a ball in Brawl Ball. There was a bug which gave her an invisible attack outline. Ares Nani is inspired by the Greek god Ares, the god of war and courage. The bell on Nani's wrist is green, but the profile icon for it is pink. Nani's supercharge gear does not charge any faster than without it. Return to center used to last 5 seconds, making it incredibly strong. Shelly at point blank will only reflect one bullet. Bots can move while using her super. Edgar. Orange Edgar is a secret exclusive player icon given to three random people on Edgar's release. To this day, no one knows who exactly has them. After the Rosa Apocalypse, there was the Edgar Apocalypse. Despite being the worst brawler for years, he won the 2023 World Finals. Unlike other healing abilities in the game, his attack healing scales with boosts. There was a bug which turned Edgar's eyes yellow. As of recording this, Edgar has some of the best stat boosts with hyperchargers, being 20% speed and 25% damage and shield. He heals exactly 738 health per attack at max level, which is pretty good. This is only 224 less healing than Poco's Decapo star power. The damage gear increases healing. It takes 7 seconds to charge Edgar's super with the Let's Fly gadgets. It takes 2 minutes and 5 seconds to fully charge a hypercharge. Griff. Griff was the first early release brawler being available in a challenge. He is a human. The further his super flies, the more damage it does, dealing over double the minimum amount. Griff is the only epic brawler without a rare skin. The return speed on his super is slightly slower than when they go out. One coin deals as much damage as a level 6 Colt bullet. There are coins on the top of his head which slide when he moves. Griff's cash register is likely based off the 1884 models of such. Sunken chest Griff's chest head could not realistically close. Grom. Grom is scared of children. His player title basically means it was easy. Frank and Grom had an unfortunate texture which looked like a swastika. There was a Grom challenge to unlock him. I never knew that. I don't know how. His walkie-talkie is named Bud. If you were to somehow line it up, you are not able to be hit by the same Grom projectile twice. His watchtower gadget does not reveal invisible enemies. Grom's super is known as the Grom Bomb. 
He is right-handed, despite his player title being with one left hand. One of his voice lines is this, which means tree sticks. Bell. Bell is based off of a real person, Bell Star. I never knew this, but only one brawler can have Bell's mark at a time. Neste got a 1 damage point nerf at one point, from 500 damage to 499. According to Splash Tech, she is the only brawler that wants to find the secrets of Star Park. Her bounce shots deal exactly half of her main attack damage. It is not possible to intercept a bounce shot. You can stack multiple bounces on a single brawler. Her bounce shots used to be able to bounce infinitely. Bell Spray has the gold tooth on the wrong side. Her mastery icon has different colored glasses. Ash. Ash has a doodle on his back, which is a Paulchaw, the old Brawl Stars concept artist. By using Rotten Bananas, Ash can kill himself. This will count as any normal defeat would. It takes 18 seconds for the Rage Bar to fully decay. He can deal up to 2 times damage with a fully maxed Rage Bar. He can only activate Rotten Banana if he has 2 or more health. His Rage Bar used to charge from Rotten Banana, which is kind of odd. Ash pins do not include this little thing on his lid. He can heal minimum 29 health from Chill Pill, maximum 3240 health. The cup on his back is the same as the energy drink modifier. And these are not rats, bro. These are not rats. Lola. Her Brawl Pass skin changed her name from Chola to Rebel Lola because it was offensive in some language. She is one of the wealthiest brawlers in the game using jewels as her ammo. Lola's mirror is just an image of her face in the mirror. She actually switched trios at one point. The eyes Chico They Never Lie is a reference to Scarface. Unlike Tara with custom death effects, Lola is the only brawler with custom respawn effects. Ego used to deal the same amount of damage when near her. Kitsune Lola's pin has hands, or feet coming off of the fox. I don't know what's going on here. Despite just being a recaller, Lavish Lola is in the Retropolis category while Rebel Lola is not. Lola's ego charges are super half as well. Sam. Sam and Belle are married! <laughs> Yay! He is the only brawler to start with a super. Chuck used to have this mechanic too, but it was later removed. Sam's knuckle busters stay on the model when he throws them in game. Hardy recovery could heal 30%, which was busted as heck. Sam Bronson is his full name. Remote recharge is a star power that exists. Pulse repellent is also a gadget that exists. <laughs> After throwing his knuckle busters, he gets a very fast movement speed, on par with Crow or Leon. When knuckle busters are coming back to Sam, they deal 1400 damage at max level. He deals exactly half damage without knuckle busters. And speaking of Buster, Mandy. <laughs> Magma Mandy does not sparkle when her shot is charged, while other skins do. She does not have infinite super range, only 40 tiles. Supercell had a vote for which brawler should get a skin, and Flagbearer Piper won. It should have been Mandy. Hanbok Mandy wears a Hanbok, which is a piece of traditional Korean clothing. The rainbow in Mandy's mastery icon is not correct. Her voice actor, Noah Klopp, voice in other things, such as Poppy Playtime, WarioWare Move It, and... Muppets Babies. <laughs> you can quickly shoot when at max range, then quickly move to stay unpredictable while keeping your long shots. This is very crucial when playing her efficiently. She is a monarch. She has the longest main attack range without gadgets or star powers. She has a voice line that says, Suck on that! Which is what you should be doing to the subscribe button. Maisie. Maisie is the worst auto-aimer. She can only sufficiently auto-aim at a one-tile distance. Her dash can actually be interrupted. Disengage used to dash her in the opposite direction, like Janet's backstage pass gadget. She is a safety coordinator. Her flavor text says it almost feels like she has a hand in creating them. Get it? Because she doesn't have an arm? Or a hand? <laughs> in Jungle Maisie's pins, it has an orange stripe down her entire face, where the model is only the forehead and the nose. There's a black mark on her pins and in animations, but not on her model. Finish Them is a Mortal Kombat reference. Most likely. Her gadget could deal 31,000 damage on release. Maisie is a girl. <laughs> I don't- I, I cannot find any more Maisie facts. Pearl. Pearl was not the first chromatic brawler to be able to break walls. It was Ruffs with his star power. She was created by Sam and Belle. Pearl got her title changed from something stupid, I don't remember what it was, to let me cook. That's good. I don't think anyone in the history of Brawl Stars has ever used her healing gadget. Speaking of her healing gadget, made with love projectiles turn green. Overcooked used to burn for 60%, which was crazy. Overcooked also does not charge her super, but it used to. Her happy pin has a different color pipe than the rest. Her mechanics are incredibly similar to Furnace from the game Dungeon Boss. Please leave a comment if you know that game, it is incredible. She was voiced by Elizabeth Dean, who also voices the only other female robot, Nani. Colette. On release, she couldn't even kill a porter or any other brawler for that matter. She has four Brawl Pass skins, Trixie and the Paulettes. Speaking of Paulette, there was a controversy with her where people were very upset that she was being sexualized as a minor, but she was later revealed to be 19 to 20 years old. 
That's a fact. That's, that's another separate fact. She has not got a single nerf since release at the time of recording. She's the only tax collector in the entire game, which is kind of ironic as she works for Griff. It's possible for Colette to get a 100% shield using mass tax star power if it hits 8 or more enemies. She is obsessed with Spike, but Spike is scared of her. Each Colette skin has different things in her notebook. The Midori Paulette pin has wildly different colors than her model. It is actually super frustrating. Gale. Gale would knock himself back with his super when he was first released. His jump pad gadget used to act as a normal jump pad. His old star power second wind used to speed up enemies in his super radius, and it was later changed to freezing wind. His eyebrows actually float above his head. His attack used to have a three tile width with huge snowballs. He has the largest knockback in the entire game. His twister gadget used to push allies away, letting you trap them with ease. He is the only chromatic brawler to not fit with the theme of the season. He works for Mr. P. Squeakbuster Gale is the only skin to reference another brawler, Larry and Lori. This is the only brawler who can completely switch their weapons. By using this gadget, they have the fastest speed in the entire game. Larry and Lori were so strong on release, they had completely broke matchmaking and forced Supercell to change how it works. Lori cannot be cocooned. He is the only brawler to use second person in the description. The protocol protect star power used to reduce 100% damage. Protocol assist used to reload ammo when hitting non-brawlers, and it also shows an icon of Larry's gun in the star power image. Lori is the only spawnable that can dodge. They take on the good cop bad cop trope, where one cop is good and one is bad in an interrogation. Bonnie. There was a bug where her super crashed the game paired with her epic gear. She then had to be removed from the game. In her mastery icon, it shows a red X on the right of her cannon, but it's on the left in her model. Her voice line, I get knocked down, but I get up again, is a reference to th tub thumping by Chumbuwabwawa. I said that right. She can deal a burst damage of 12,440 damage with a super and three attacks. She is the only brawler that can be both slow and very fast. Unicorn Bonnie had a texture bug at one point. Bonnie has a very lackluster amount of facts. She is a girl, Bonnie FNAF, spring trap, small girl, small girl. Girl, small. Hank from Breaking Bad. He is the smallest brawler down there with Eve. There's a reference to Full Metal Jackets Born to Kill on his helmet which says B2B, or Born to Brawl. There was a bug which let him deal extra damage at close range. On release, you could not see him charge in bushes. The size of the balloon changes the supercharge rate. Rodeo Hank's bubble is not translucent. Hank's spray shows a green bubble for some reason. He's the only brawler which does not reload, rather he resets. Hank used to be able to heal while charging. Shark Tank Hank, Empress Bonnie, and some other skin I forget which one it was are the only brawlers with black eyes and red peoples. Mortis. Mortis actually reloads while dashing. He is the only brawler that gets a freeze skin when unlocking him. He was the first remodel. There were bugs where Mortis could dash through walls. His bats used to change color. Like Frank, Mortis had a star power which dropped skulls on the ground which healed him after defeating an enemy. This was changed to be automatic. In beta, Mortis' attack would dash super long and super far. Originally, Mortis' longer dash was a star power and not a part of his kit. According to his flavor text, it's confirmed that no one dies at Star Park. His mythic gear is near useless, as super attacks will almost always hit. Tara. Her portrait icon and her brawler model have different color eyes. She canonically does not have an H. She was the first female black brawler. Her name in Hindi means star. If you do not have her star powers, the pet power gear is useless. She is the only brawler that cannot use it without her star power. She is one of the only brawlers with custom death effects. Tara's gadget can reveal invisible enemies unlike Grom's gadget. The re support from Beyond Shadows will lose against a black portal shadow. Tara only has 17 voice lines being one of the least in the game. Apart from Spike, Black Portal does not scale with power cubes or any other buffs. Jean. Jean super crashed the game at one point. He was the first support brawler ever added. Poco was a healer. There was a bug where his super could not pull enemies when poisoned. Jean is the only brawler to have his star power changed twice. 25 days before the Brawl Talk announced Jean, he was leaked. This also included Tick, which means their files have both been in the game since beta. He is 10,000 years old. Jean's gadget only hits 20 enemies. His super breaks walls but goes right through indestructible ones. His lamp glows when he reloads. Jean's spirit slap star power deals the same damage as one base attack shot, giving him essentially 4 ammo. Max. Max's icon used to look like this. She has red hair. Cheetah Max is the only Max skin without an energy bottle. Run and gun on the high safe used to be a strat. It was kind of insane. Max is a girl. She has the best dash in the game since it's more versatile than any other. She retains status effects after using the teleport gadgets. It takes 66 seconds to fully charge her super with her star power. She is fast, and she is also the only brawler who can enhance the speed of an entire team. Mr. P. Mr. P actually wears the suit. 
Mr. P used to have a star power called Tin Can, which gave his spawner more health. Bruce was a placeholder for Mr. P's Porters, and Lex is behind Brawl Stars number 15. Porters have the same projectile as Rico Balls. Mr. P has to be within 12 tiles to activate Service Bell. Standard Mr. P has a blush, but HMP does not. Mr. P's gadget porter is visually smaller. Unlike other spawners, porters return to the base when no enemies are on the field. Mr. P was originally a sharpshooter. Revolving Door was a star power that let Mr. P's shots bounce anywhere. This was later added to his main kit. Count Pangula porters have vampire fangs. Sprouts. Sprout's name is Wally in the files. During overtime, Sprout's walls will break. He is the only brawler to destroy exactly one tile. Perry Lukey is one of the top Sprout players and only add a power one Sprout. There's a glitch, well, I think it's a glitch, that lets Sprout place walls everywhere with a specific map layout. There was a bug where he could knock back boxes in Showdown. The folded corner on his face is not in the profile icon, but is on the model. Sprout's walls will be destroyed by invincibility shields. Transplant will destroy more than one hedge at a time. Like Rico, bouncing travels farther. Byron. Snake oil extract in real life is deceptive marketing. His mastery icon is in the front of his cane. Byron works with Piper and Barley. Interestingly, he has no rare or super rare skins, but does have epic and mythic ones. His gadget has the highest healing in the game, I think. I don't know. Byron's profile portrait has no black lines on his hair. He is a drug addict. <laughs> he has the longest healer range. Byron is old. Uh, also, he's old. <laughs> Listen, man, there's not a lot of Byron packs. Squeak. Blob Squeak's tongue is a different color in his model than in his pins. Squeak was created from rough drool. Like Tick, Squeak was changed to have derpy eyes. There is a kit badge on his, like, strap thing. There is a squeaky ball inside of Squeak's body. That sounds really weird out loud. There was an unofficial rap that just used Squeak sounds. And it was incredible. Squeak only has two voice line names, Squeak Giggles and Squeak Whimpers. Squeak can't see brawlers and bushes while inside the Leon gadgets. He is just like you. An accident. <laughs> First Blob Squeak skin is a reference to Stall One. Gray. Gray has an animation for when the grand piano appears. Detective Gray Nor Edition was released to everyone for a thousand bling when it was first released on accident. This makes it one of the best value 29 gem skins in the game. He was the first brawler to be available through a quest. Gray's shots come from his fingers, kinda like Stu. Gray used to be able to instantly teleport with his super. As well as this, he could teleport multiple people at once. His sideburns are different on his portrait than from his model. His super can heal spawnables. His super used to crash the game. Gray's flavor text used to say, what's the meaning to orthochromatic? This contradicts his mythic rarity as it is red. Willow. Willow's super used to crash the game, just like every other freaking bro on this list. <laughs> She's an axolotl, an aquatic-based mob that spawns in lush caves. In pre-releases, if you walk on top of her attack, it will poison, kinda like Barley. There was a bug where super enemies with her super could not attack. She lives in the Love Swamp. She becomes untargetable for the longest time with her gadgets. She has glowing eyes, and she is also a gondolier. Willow also has the best voice lines in the entire game. No! Doug. Doug wears an inflatable suit. My milkshake brings all the kids to the pool is a reference to this. His hot dogs are actually inflatable balloons. Doug used to be able to heal brawlers while reviving. You can give your super to teammates. Do it. Please, do it! Before Doug was released, Brawl Stars hosted a hot dog event, which acted as the only way to heal in Showdown. This sort of teased Doug before he was released. His mastery icon Hot Dog has eyes, for some reason. He has the shortest brawler description in the game. Doug is most likely based off of a Bronchiosaurus. In Doug pins, his hot dog throbs and pulsates. Chuck. Chuck's posts show which one is first through third or fourth based on these dots. He used to spawn with super, but it was too broken, so they took it away. Chuck had the first early access offer deal at 20 bucks. He is the only brawler that cannot respawn with a super, along with Meg, in very certain circumstances. He's the only disabled brawler in a wheelchair. His ears are different in the model to the portrait. He actually gets a 50% damage reduction when supering, which has no visual in-game. His steam comes from his hat. His posts point in the direction that it goes. You can place supers right outside of the range to extend it. Lou. It takes exactly 7 cones to fill the frost meter. Lou's super used to crash the game. He used to not freeze enemies with a super and it was just a star power. Super cool and hypothermia were reworked. Despite having a different bow tie, Smooth Lou's pins have the same bow tie as base Lou. Burger Lou is incredibly flawed, as it has the cheese in the bottom of the burger, instead it should be on the top so you can melt better. Cheese in the bottom is incredibly odd and inefficient and you would not see this anywhere. My American is coming out. <laughs> Blizz Brawl Stars. What's up? His super charges 1% when enemies are in it. Lou has the lowest damaging damaging super in the entire game. He is a robot. Ruffs. Technically, Ruffs was the first brawler ever created. According to good randoms, Ruff X Eve is real. 
he was the first animal brawler ever released. In every rough skin, you can see his tail wag. He is the first chromatic brawler to be able to break walls. He is also the only brawler that can increase another brawler's health, excluding shields. Enemies can see your location when using field promotion, even inside bushes. Extra health by field promotion will not affect collat attacks. There's a bit of a mandala effect going on, where Colonel Ruffs is still named Colonel, but it was changed to just Ruffs in 2022. With the percentage increases to all stats going from 5 to 10%, field promotion was untouched. Touched. Buzz. Buzz wears a suit. He's most likely a Velociraptor. The farther Buzz is when grappling, the longer it'll stun for, going from minimum 0.5 seconds to 1.5. His original class was a Buzz Aston. Kaiju Buzz is a nod to the Kaiju robot in Super City. <laughs> Super. <laughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Super City <laughs> Super City Rampage. <laughs> Buzz's hypercharge was leaked in the 16 billion takedown video. His super can stun from behind walls. This. Brawlers like Max or Miko can dodge a grapple. If he uses gadget and he dies, he will not keep his super. Fang. Fang can super out of the 5v5 map, and if he has gems, they get stuck. Fang's description says he hits 3 enemies, but it hits 4. Canonically, he loves Shelly based on promo picks. Roundhouse Kick used to stun for a full second. Fresh Kits could charge his super again if defeating a non-brawler. What the heck is going on in this viewpin? I do not know what's happening. There's a popcorn kernel in the bottom of his shoe. Each corn food kernel deals 1,088 damage, meaning it can do up to 26,112 damage. He wears cute blue and white striped socks. Ferocious Fang has the character Dragon on his medallion thing. Eve. Eve was the first brawler to be released with two gadgets. She's a really bad mother, murdering her children with her attacks. In the Biodome animation, she has pictures of Lola in her ship. Her fleas are the smallest pets in the game. You can see her mastery icon inside of her ship. Each egg deals 240 more damage than the last. Using Gotta Go, her hatchlings will have less health but the same amount of damage. This is different from Happy Surprise, which just has half the damage. Baiku Eve references Akira. Leave me alone! The aim line was made bigger, being more accurate to the biggest egg. She was the first brawler to be able to walk on water. I could not find any more good effects, so please just bear with me. Please, please, please. Janet. In the files, there's an old G-Force Janet texture, it's duller and stupider. Janet's stage view star power reveals a 13 tile radius around her, which is only 3 less than her age, which is 16. You heard me right. She used to be able to drop drop the baseball using her super. Janet's thanks pin turns her helmet pink. Dark Fairy Janet's pin has a red feather on it. Backstage Pass is the only icon in the game which has a door. Speaking of, is Backstage Pass opening inwards or outwards? If you hit every bomb, you can deal up to 9,600 damage. Janet can fly outside of the map in 5v5. Otis. Sil does not have a face nor an outline effect in game. His super used to deal zero damage. Fat Splatter used to crash the game. W Otis has the shortest skin name in the entire game, just being a W. <laughs> W. Otis also shoots a star drop as Sil. Probably a rare star drop, if I had a guess. Sil is a different color in his spray than in the game. You can have up to four Sils on the ground using Dormant Star. You can mute Brawlers in the Invincibility Shield. His super does not work on turrets that don't deal damage, except Pam's turret with Mama Squeeze. Fat Splatter deals 1,100 damage, which is less than a level 6 Barley. Buster. In the Time to Explain podcast, they say Buster was supposed to have a rocket launcher or something. Chainsaw Buster is most likely referencing Denji from Chainsaw Man. Dude, that's me? Slow-mo replay does not slow-mo, despite the name. Using utility belts, he can heal up to 3,744 health in 5v5. He is the only mythic to have the tank class. He is one of the most nerf brawlers in Brawl Stars history. <laughs> One of. His attack lens flare is based off the circumstance when light is scattered in a camera lens producing artifacts in the image. No matter how much damage Buster's shield can absorb, it'll always repel 1,600 damage at max level. Crocodile Buster's pin does not have the tag on his hat. His voice actor is Irish. RT. When splitting, he gets a speed buff that does not stack. When first released, RT was really big at one point. Oddly enough, without any star powers, his legs will get a 29% shield. That's a very weird number. I refuse to believe that inline is real. This gadget blows. His portrait narrows the opposite eye than in the model in the game. RT's portrait has these eyeballs below him. I'm not exactly sure what they are. It might be him splitting. If so, this is the only brawler that uses their super in their icon. There used to be nearly no delay between attacks in his split form. This dealt massive damage. There was this one bug that let Crimson RT do split damage in normal form. RT most likely stands for radio television. He like spies on everyone or something. Uh, I don't know. Wait, there's, a there's a camera in my room. 
Any anyways, Charlie. Charlie was the first brawler with a 100% ban rate in the world finals. Charlie's cocoon does not cancel any ongoing effects. Theoretically, you could die inside of it. She was the last chromatic brawler before the rarity was removed. Her attacks originally had zero delay between attacks. Buzz or Cordelius can charge their super off of a cocooned enemy. There was a cheese with her where she could survive for an incredibly long time in Showdown using gadgets and a teammate and stuff. It was crazy. Spiders will spawn even if she misses her hypercharged super. Charlie's super used to last 10 whole seconds. Her spiders had 1,760 health at one point. The amazing Charlie skin is probably an Iron Man reference. Miko. Wukong Miko had a small bug where there was this weird purple box that showed up. It's kind of weird. He attacks with his boom mic, which is a type of microphone which goes above the frame so actors do not have to wear a microphone. His clipping screen gadget can actually miss, and it happens more than you might think. Miko has the only main attack which can dodge projectiles. There was a bug where power cubes could scale insanely high with him. Grouch Miko equals Grinch reference? Maybe? <laughs> His eyes are green in his pins. In his spray, he has purple hair. He has the only mastery icon apart from Meg, which does not appear on his motto or in his attacks. Wukong Miko's voice lines are in Mandarin Chinese. Spike. Spike has a special decoration in Clash of Clans. Spike's attacks used to be random. There was a video where Spike actually had a voice and you can hear it right now. My name. If I'm on the attack or hugging you, I'll tell you all the same. Sakura Spike's name was originally Pinky Spike. Spike Mask. Spike Mask. There's a, there's a there's a spike mask. <laughs> spike was the first brawler to have an over-the-top galaxy Chinese skin. On the topic of China, he's used as the quote-unquote ringmaster for this Chinese Brawl Stars collection thing. Spike is the first brawler with a creator code. He used to be a rare brawler. Spike is scared of Colette. Crow. Captain Crow had a weird glitch where he could stack his poison. When Brawler sent love letters to Piper, he had the note, I want to make a love nest with you. Crow is based off a robin. He has a deeper voice in the trailer than in the game. His jump used to linger in the air before it landed. Phoenix Crow was glitched for the longest time, which looked super odd. He can deal the most damage with his hypercharge and his super. Crow could hold the ball while supering along with Piper and Primo at one point. Crow had no winning animation back in the day, just a little thumbs up. He has the weakest poison damage in the entire game. <coughs> Leon. Leon's toes are not real. Leon's lollipop never changes, it is always the same color. Contrary to popular belief, he was not the first brawler released after the game on Global. Leon Littlefoot is his real name. The Vision Gear will let you see an invisible Leon for longer as well. well Back when he was released, he used briefly. to be not invisible this is when really, enemy. really. The further his attack goes, the less damage it does. You could take out his clone projector clone in one shot. Nita is his little sister, but maybe not because the confirmed ages are inconsistent with his flavor text. He attacks with spin blades, not shurikens. Sandy. Sandy Super crashed the game. Now who would have guessed? Sleepy Boy was his old title, but it was changed to the Sleepy. Sandy is a boy. His attack description was changed from shooting sand to sharp pebbles. Tara is his sister. He has no losing animation. Sandy blows his mouth in his idle animation, like a little... His icon has no tough to pair. Sandy flails his arms in his running animation. Lantern Sandy's lanterns are not attached to anything. Amber. Amber was the first brawler to have extra effects in her winning animation. Amber was remodeled because allegedly she has no pants below her skirt. Her name in the file her name in the files is Fire Dude. Amber was the first brawler to have more than four ammo. Amber super used to deal one damage per tick if she was defeated right before igniting it. With Scorch and Siphon and Supercharge gear, it takes 0.124 seconds to reload one ammo. Amber is hot. Sticky Oil Mythic Gear used to slow for 20%. <laughs> that is crazy! As of writing this, she only has epic skins. Her attack is named Dragon's Breath. In real life, it's an incendiary ammunition of a shotgun that sparks flames and flames and sparks and flames and sparks. Meg. Meg is 20 to 23 years old. She was the last brawler Paul Chaw designed. You might know him from Ash. She used to spawn in her base form and had to work up to her mecha. The mecha would decay health and act super differently. Meg's mecha could crash the game. Beetle Meg has different hat colors than in her model. You cannot see Meg's mastery icon button anywhere. Her main attack actually deals more damage per shot than her mecha. She used to spawn with 3 ammo after her mecha was destroyed, to 0, to 1. Her second star power was originally named self-destruction from heavy metal. The old mecha used to have reduced healing, so instead of healing, say, a thousand health, it would only heal a fraction of it. Chester. 
Chester's description says he throws candy, but his stun super throws a boxing glove. His old description was a liability notice for Star Park. He is the only current legendary with a wall break. He's also the only RNG based brawler. There was a bug where he would always spawn with his candy popper after death. His main attack used to be even stronger than a Shelly super. In some pins, Chester's bells change facial expressions depending on the pin. His thanks pin has three bellows on his hat. Chester is based off of a real life Jester. There is a 20% chance to receive each super. Kit. Kit was teased for years in the game after being finally released. Billy the Kit was based off Billy the Kid. Kit Boxer has a scar in his pin and icon, but not on the model. His early access offer cost $30 and was a far worse deal than any previous early access offer like Chuck. There was a bug with Kit's power cube scaling which made it way too strong. Kit used to be immune during his super. His bells have the same attack SFX as Sprout's super. His cheeseburger gadget is a reference to this cheeseburger meme. You can has cheeseburger. Kit has many voice lines that reference popular cat memes like the back to the internet or live, laugh, love, and lick or crying cat face. Kit wears pants. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Surge. Surge has the shortest title in the game, only at three characters. He had an old gadget which let him instantly teleport a few tiles. He used to not be able to jump when using a super. His old splitting star power used to split even if you didn't hit a wall. There was a bug which upgraded Surge to max power with one super. Power Surge used to upgrade two levels at once. Power Shield used to reduce damage by 80%. Surge was originally a soda fountain but refurbished into what he is today. The Kraken Surge pin does not have a hat, which is incredibly uncanny. There is an old Surge texture which looks like this. Cordelius. Cordelius is a mushroom addict. His super charges are the same amount of time as Buzz. There's only one Shadow Realm in the game, meaning multiple Cordeliuses can be together at once in the same realm. He used to be able to infinitely stay in the Shadow Realm. He is Mojo Jojo. While in the Shadow Realm, he gets 20% higher speed and 30% more reload. Any ongoing effects outside of the realm come inside. Each mushroom charges a very odd number of 19.1625%. Cordelius should not be able to use his replanning gadget inside of the realm. <laughs> Angelo. He is the second brawler to have a charge attack, the first was Hank. Despite floating on water, he is an epic. Angelo is gay. The longer you hold your attack in the circle, the more poison damage it'll do. He has the best gadget jump in the entire game. Angelo has the exact same gadget as Mandy. It pierces through targets and that's it. You cannot stack the healing on his super. He is the only brawler that can be healed with his super. His voice line, Shashay Away, is a reference to drag race when a person gets <sighs> eliminated. Oh, Are you sure? He can deal 10 times more damage from a low charge shot to a max. Melody. She has the lowest single target damage in the entire game, ignoring weird cases like Hank, Amber, or Angelo. Some of her voice lines are in Korean. She is very tall. She is the only brawler that can stack multiple supers at once. Her music notes will disappear in the order that they appear in. You can see her notes while she's inside of a bush. Her name is a play on words for, well, Melody. She can block up to 45% damage with her gadgets. Her eyebrows are purple. Melody's dash is longer than Stu and Mortis even with their star powers. If you made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing. I'm on my way to 100,000 subscribers and I would really appreciate right. it. Uh, that, that video.